I never know the results of a story before I read them on stage. However, most of the time, after interviewing the guests, I have a pretty good idea how things will turn out. But every now and then, there are unexpected results that even shock me. Take a look. Ray's girlfriend um, told me about two weeks ago that his father had gotten frustrated with him at 3 o'clock in the morning when my son woke up crying and decided to burn him by taking a metal bottle cap off of a beer bottle and taking a lighter to it and heating it up. One day I wanted to sneak up on Ray and see how he was doing with my son. When I walked in, I seen he had a cigarette in my son's mouth. Ray is basically treating my stepson like he's an animal. You know, stick a cigarette in his mouth and, have, you know, give his friends some laughs. It just upsets me knowing that I might not have my son past the age of four and I'm sitting here letting him go through all this abuse. They've been doing this crap for four years I've been putting up with this. I work hard to take care of my son. They've been trying to sit, ever since this Chris guy's been into it, man, they have tried to set me up, make me lose my rights. I don't know why he is doing what he's doing, but I'm tired of it. And I'm here today to clear my name. I would never hurt my son. I love my son with all my heart, and I'm tired of it. And it's going to stop here. We're going to get this thing straight. All right. Did your son suffer the burn in your care? No. Actually, I'm the one that took the picture of the burn when he come to me. I have a log. I write everything in with my son because I've been dealing with this for four years. When he gets up, what I do, when I feed him, when he uses the bathroom, what we do, when we play, when he gets a boo-boo, whatever, by the times and the dates. I took the picture and sent it to her. She turned around, took that picture, got it uh, developed, and tried to use it against me in court. Do you believe your son is being abused? Something isn't right somewhere, and I need to know what it is. Um, I'm, I'm more active with my son. She, is, she takes my son, puts him in a bed, puts SpongeBob's on him, and leaves him alone. Me and my son, we do things. We color, we go fishing, we go to the playground, we go watch movies, we do things, you know? I'm more active with my son. He does have cerebrals and a lot of things going on with him. I'm doing the best I can, Steve, for my son. And why do you think that they're saying that you're doing this? They're trying to get the rights from me. They're trying to get my rights. I have legal joint custody, my son, that I fought for and I got by myself. They, they're trying to get me to give my rights away so he can adopt them. They're trying anything they can to screw me over. And I'm not giving up on my son. And I'm going to fight for my son. You don't get up out my face. Okay. We're going to get right now. Shut you're not hurting my son. We're going to find out hurt. what's going on right now. I'm done. Get up your lazy me. ass and you take care of my son. I'm not putting up with it. No more. No more. No more. I ain't doing it. Let's not get it. That's right. That's all right. My son has been hospitalized 15 times. Where the hell has he been? No way. Okay. 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 My no ass off so my son no can get his child support. Ready. Because that's what the system okay. wants from me. Okay. I'm Ray. the father. Ray. I gotta work. Ray. To get to get him his money. Ray. Your fat lazy ass won't do it. Ray's not invested in I this song. I have heard on the phone him tell my child to shut up because he was crying. I have been told that he's so still this whole, in front of my child. This whole thing with Ray out here, uh, you know, speaking very passionately about his son. That's Ray, what it's okay. That's what that, I'm asking that's you. All so made this is a show. Up. This is a show. That is all made up. And if I could put my hands around his neck right now, I swear I would. Um, oh, I would. Tell me about the burn. Me and my sister Reva, we went and picked my son up because it was snowing really, really bad. And we went and picked him up, got him back home. When I picked him up, he had a bandage right here. I didn't think nothing of it. My son does claw himself. You can ask anybody at his school. You can ask anyone due to his muscle disease that he's got. My sister's like, well, I want to see this. I'm cooking dinner. She said, I want to see this. Takes it off, and it's a burn mark just like this big around. And the doctor even said it was a second-degree burn. Did like, you ever ask Ray how did this happen? Oh, plenty of times. And what did plenty he say? I don't know. It was there when he got here. Did he ever send you a picture of the burn? No, he didn't. Did Tanya tell you that his girlfriend ever tell you anything about that burn? Yeah, said that Ray was the one that done it. With Tanya told you this? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, right after he beat the hell out of her. Did he, Ray put a cigarette in? Uh... I was leaving this at this time. 
We were dating. We wasn't married. Walked in, and he's sticking a cigarette in my child's mouth. And how old was your son at the time? Two. And he put a cigarette in his old. mouth. Two years old. And you said, what the hell are you doing? Oh, yeah, I went off. And what did Ray say? Oh, I didn't do that. I don't know how it happened. Is this all an act on his part? I think so, yeah. If you cared about your Pretty child... Pretty elaborate act. But how, um, if you cared about your child, how the hell are you going to burn him? How, a child that can't even sit up, how is he going to have bruises down his legs? So either you guys are lying or he's lying, because there's no in between here. If we are abusing your child, why are you going to let him come back to us? Because it's court order. Why is your you ever hit the boy? No, I have not. Ever discipline him? No, I have not. Ray ever discipline him? No, he has not. He has not. You ever see Ray hit the boy? No, I have not. Is Ray a good father? Yes, he is. I am not framing Ray for anything. I want to have me as a father and him as a father. I but grew up. You don't ever pull me. you along. Don't ever Ray, 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 you had your time. Say, Chris, you had Chris, your time. Speak, Chris. Chris. He had bruises here. The bruises were there three different times. The first two times, they were light. I'm going to be honest. He bruises easily. I put some small bruises bruise on him. I, I definitely have. That. I've never put. And how were? How did you do that? You might be changing his clothes. And, and you got to pull his you arms. Have to pull his arms right. open, getting him dressed, stuff like that. And, and sometimes doing that, you put uh, right. some bruises on. Bruises him. I'm talking about are dark. You purple. can tell the difference between bruises that maybe kids, all kids get bruises, right. and then bruises that These are, are caused serious by abuse. bruises. And the thing is, if I'm if I'm abusing him, I want you to call the police. I want you to make a report. I want you to call social services. I want you to do I've that. Been doing Don't write that, it in a dude. book. I've Don't talk about how you put it in the book. The police, years, have, the police have never come to me and accused me of anything. You, you actually bring up a good point. If anybody's believing the, the boy's being abused, why, why isn't the police being called in a story? Right? We see it. Your sister is here. That. She saw the burn. Let's bring your sister out. When these times come back that you did do it, it's going to take more than any of and this. And what if it comes back audience? that if I didn't and y'all come at me, we're going to tear this thing down. You stay tuned for the unexpected results.